I'm John Broderick, the Dean of the University of New Hampshire School of Law, and it's a good opportunity to speak to you today about the Warren B. Rudman Center for Justice, Leadership, and Public Policy here at the Law School. The center is designed to celebrate the legacy of Warren Rudman's public service, both as Attorney General and later as United States Senator from this state. It's also designed to open public service to a new generation of leaders who will follow, I hope, in Warren Rudman's footsteps. The center will have scholarship. It will have a Warren Rudman chair. It will, I think most importantly, have fellowships for students who want to enter public life. And lastly, it will debate issues of public policy of consequence to the nation. We're very lucky to have an incredible group of national co-chairs, great Americans who love Warren Rudman and respect his legacy. And we have similar people here in the state of New Hampshire from both the public and private sectors. I hope you'll be able to support this very important effort for the law school, for Warren Rudman's legacy, and for the state of New Hampshire. Thank you. The Warren B. Rudman Center seeks to fill a critical gap in legal education. Much of the debate currently has centered around the importance of providing law school students with practical skills training, whether in the clinical setting or putting them out in the real world in an extern or internship placement. But what's missing from the debate is how can law schools do a better job at training future leaders? How can we provide them the skill set that they need to understand how to make principal decisions, how to use their law degree to become effective and zealous advocates? This center seeks to produce such leaders. This country is at a crossroads right now. We need leaders who possess moral courage, a sense of purpose, a willingness to protect vulnerable populations, and a willingness to get to work and work together for the common good. Guided by the values and work of Warren Rudman, this center will produce such leaders. I've been in the presence of, 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 of people who are afraid to lead, and I've been in the presence of people who are not afraid to lead, or more accurately, have conquered their fear, because typically that's what you have to do. Uh, none of us like to face an angry audience. None of us like to persuade people to do something they'd rather not do. Uh, oftentimes, people who are in a leadership position will find themselves at the close of business saying, uh, why don't I go do something else? Uh, we need this country. Uh, I would say more than ever before. People who are committed exactly the way Warren Rudman was, with the desire to serve, with the desire to do good public policy, with the desire to fight for justice, with the desire to lead the country in the direction of his belief and of his values, both of which were sound and good. Uh, more than ever before, this country needs leaders. Uh, and I am completely confident that whatever contributions you make to the Warren Rudman Center here at UNH, uh, that it will produce such leaders. But I think you're destined to achieve uh, great things through the creation of the Warren B. Rudman Just Center for Justice, Leadership, and Public Policy. Uh, Senator Rudman is a wonderful friend of mine, but most importantly, he's been a true statesman. He was a political bridge builder. He was a visionary, a man ahead of his time, because he focused uh, and long anticipated the magnitude of the debt that our country is now grappling with today. Honoring Warren Rudman this way is most appropriate. When it comes to public servants, since World War II, there have been few who were more exceptional than Warren. His deep sense of justice, deep in his gut, his sense of fairness, his understanding of bipartisanship, his willingness to work across the aisle. I believe Warren represents exactly what the American people are searching for today as they struggle with the Congress and its poor performance of late. Uh, I've only known Warren well for the last five years although I've watched him for many years beyond that. And my respect for him, for his decency, his independence, uh, his commitment to this country, his commitment to a Congress that works across the aisles well, his understanding of compromise. I think he's a jewel. And I think to have his name on this center at this law school, his state makes a tremendous statement not only about the law school, but about Warren. You simply cannot go somewhere if you don't know where you stand. And 
he was always very, very clear about that, which wasn't to say that he wasn't rigid or wasn't a listener, but he definitely knew that, that his decisions were his decisions, and he was going to stand by them once he made them. And it was a, it was a true learning opportunity uh, for me, uh, something that I found uh, you know, has, been, uh, has, has been with me since that day. At the end of the day, what other people think really does matter, especially if you're a representative. But you need to have the principles that, that, uh, that establish you as who you are, and then you take those forward. The thing that amazed me about Warren Rudman was his ability to grasp the essence of any situation very rapidly and then turn around and discuss it in a public forum as if he were the most well-informed person on the subject in the world. And he, he projected that kind of confidence, that kind of uh, anything is possible attitude that was inspirational to young lawyers. He, he was not a man who was fearful of a challenge. If he felt he was right, he would take on that challenge and let the political consequences fall where they, they may. And you saw that when he was down in Washington. He would seize on to big issues and uh, find the right people to be part of a team and try to promote that cause to the best advantage of the American people. First of all, I've always been impressed at how Senator Redmond's been uh, focused on public policy as opposed to the fight of the battle. Uh, he's always risen above it all when he's been in the U.S. Senate, and even as a candidate. He, did, uh, he, he conducted himself with great dignity, and I think that that's lacking today, not only here in New Hampshire, but in, certainly in Washington. And, and uh, Senator Rudman just really uh, was committed to serving the people. He was accessible and uh, focused on the merits of the issue and, and really, you know, waged a lot of fights, some of which uh, some people didn't agree with. But in the end, he was still accessible and available and was a wonderful public servant and continues to, I think, uh, exemplify what public service should be like from someone from New Hampshire. Warren Rudman was really the model for attorneys general. He professionalized the office of the Attorney General in a way that had never been done before. He was involved in critical issues. He even tried cases personally. Um, he tried a case against the Hells Angels that uh, was so dangerous and he received so many threats that he actually carried a weapon during that period of time. Uh, he was the kind of Attorney General that made the people of New Hampshire proud because he got involved, stayed involved, and pursued justice at every level. More and more Americans are growing discouraged with Washington, D.C. They're afraid that it isn't connected to them and their lives and seeking answers. Uh, Warren Rudman sought answers every day. He was always in combat, to quote the title of his book, and he was always fighting for the people of New Hampshire. And that makes him the kind of role model that law students should know about. He didn't go down there to, to take up a seat. He went down there to stand up and to fight, and that's what makes him such a remarkable person. Senator Rudman did so many things with so many Democratic senators. Uh, I think that is an important, um, you know, an important illustration of where we need to get back to. Uh, the pendulum is always in motion. We've had other periods uh, in the run-up to the Civil War, for example, where our politics were probably even more poisoned and polarized than they are today. But I think the next generation of leaders, people that, unlike me, will not really remember Warren Redmond serving as Attorney General or is in the United States Senate need to learn about him. I think all of his legal skills really formed how he acted as a politician and I think it is a, I mean, a, 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 a sort of trademark of his involvement that if you look at the people who he put on his Senate staffs and have worked around him in various projects, there are a lot of lawyers because he, he likes the way lawyers approach problems, uh, their ability to be creative and find different kinds of solutions. Uh, underlying it all was a person who had a huge respect for how the law works, how courts would see things that you did, uh, and, and, and how that, that perspective could be used in a way that benefited the greater good. He is a person that is strong, but not combative. This is a person that knows, again, where he stands, but maintains his civility. He is not one to demonize, which is unfortunately so common today in terms of people that disagree with us. Warren is 
a thoughtful person. And by that I mean not simply thoughtful in terms of being considerate, but thoughtful in terms of having thought through where he stands and why he stands there. And it gives him the ability to, once again, stand up for his positions in a non-combative kind of way. Integrity, courage, civility, and level-headedness. Level-headedness is an old-fashioned term. You hardly hear it anymore. But this is Warren Rudman. And when you look at those characteristics and you look around, be it the business world, the political world, the policy world, they're in short supply today. They're in short supply in America, unfortunately. So if we could take the Warren Rudman Center and begin to build those characteristics in to our young people, we will be producing from that center leaders for tomorrow. Hi, I'm Brad Cook, and it's my honor to be chairman of the Rudman Center campaign. As you have heard from those who have spoken eloquently on this tape about the need for and mission of this center, it is to embody those principles that Senator Rudman stands for and stood for in his career as Attorney General of New Hampshire, as United States Senator, and as leader in so many different areas. Here at this center, we hope to embody and transmit the values that he stood for, strong, straightforward leadership and no-nonsense, bipartisan effort to solve America's problems. We thank you in advance for your support and look forward to this center becoming a reality.